Hi everybody, my name is Henry Li. I'm from blueheronarts.com. Today we're going to continue our monthly lesson, video lesson on Chinese brush painting. The subject matter is monkeys. Here in my um, background, you can see a huge painting I did the other day um, on a whole piece of uh, double shrine rice paper. It's a, it's a super size. Um, you can see there are five monkeys, one, two, three, four, five, on the tree with the white wines, uh, with the white uh, grapes, wines. Let's talk about a little bit history. So whenever we start a new subject matter, we need to know the history, uh, the aesthetics, and uh, uh, the uh, evolution of a uh, monkey from, uh, from uh, the live monkey to um, the, you know, in the nature and uh, uh, the cultural relics in second nature, I call it. Uh, um, basically, there are two schools of uh, monkey painting. One is uh, expressionistic, known as uh, Mushi style or Mushi school uh, in Japan. Um, it's very dominant school of uh, uh, Sumie painting derived from this Mushi school. Uh, not only monkeys, but also like cranes and uh, other uh, animals and uh, um, landscapes or even um, figures. Here we have the earliest uh, masterpiece by master or uh, monk um, Mushi by his uh, Buddhist title, he also known as Fa Chang. So uh, his painting is very uh, simplistic, and uh, you can see in the uh, detailed picture I put on my slides, uh, the the face of the monkey is very abstract, um, almost like today's uh, smiley symbol, uh, only two dots and uh, uh, a little smiley face, you know. And uh, there's a white, uh, white uh, area surrounding the eyes and nose. Um, this long-armed monkey known as uh, uh, Gippen, Gippens, I think, uh, one of the popular in Asia, I guess. Uh, and it's most common in this kind of uh, painting. We call it uh, Mushi school or uh, uh, Expressionistic school versus the other more uh, contemporary style uh, or uh, realistic style uh, in animal painting uh, in today's uh, China or Japan. Uh, actually, in modern Japan, they have developed this new style, it had influence on the Nan school, the southern China school. They are more realistic. Um, so, today we focus on this Mushi school of a painting. Uh, I'm going to do a demo of this masterpiece uh, on this uh, blank scroll, silk scroll. It's already mounted but with a, a plain white, white uh, rice paper. Um, so I'm going to draw some sketch while I'm talking about the uh, monkeys, gibbons. The gibbons or monkeys are very um, much look like humans. That's why we like them, right? But in painting, you need to remember not to mess up, to mix up with uh, human figures. So there are differences between the monkey and the humans, of course. Um, I'm going to draw roughly um, the composition first. This is a, a, pi a pine or separate tree. So we make several line control lines basically to define the position of the trunk.
you don't have to follow exactly um, the method. It's more importantly to learn the method of uh, brush strokes and uh, the ideas. Should be a lot of space on the top. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is uh, to avoid uh, raining out of space in the end. So I want to make sure the tree fit into the frame. You don't have to do all the details. The, the strokes will be different. Even the master himself cannot repeat. That's the nature of a Chinese brush painting. And uh, the chin is very uh, slim and uh, with no jar. So that's the difference. You can just draw a circle roughly. You don't have to be exact. Not you know, just precision it first. <coughs> there are uh, many followers of Mushi in Japan and uh, in Asia, like uh, Singapore. Uh, there's a master, uh, contemporary master named Chen Wenxi. He is very good at the mushi style and uh, uh, with color. This paint, the huge painting, uh, I followed this, some inspiration from Chen Wenxi. He is inspired by mushi for sure. So the, this is the development. We can dust it off if you make any mistake. You can see, <coughs> so it disappears. The face very small. Okay, now. I'm going to draw with ink. Okay, ready? I'm now using a small weasel brush and a load dark ink, pure ink, to start with the, the face. This little one is suggestively, and uh, I'll use a larger wolf hair brush, and we can use some uh, glue water to make sure it's not going to drip or bleed while I dilute the ink. It's a peach sap, glue, water. I use this to control the consistency of the ink. So it's not a thin inconsistency while I dilute the ink. You can you can um, do a light wash if you will, or you can just start uh, from uh, 
little. I think I should uh, also define the node uh, years. You can do to just do something like a sketch. When the brush is split, it's perfect. You can just draw it with the split hair, parallel lines, like that. Notice the triangle uh, in the, ch the chin and the, the jar. So it's not perfectly round. I just noticed that the, the face of the baby may be too far from the mother, so I'm going to change that. The uh, shoulder actually is a very tall there's no neck, so it, co it connects to the head directly. Uh, it's about the, the ear level. I think uh, the sketch is too big, so I need to modify it. doing it, I use light ink just to wash the background and then I, I add the, uh, the dark for the texture. And this line could be thinner than the uh, intended than you intended. You can use light, light ink. You can change it. Maybe. Not uh, accurate. Now I reload the brush with dark and redefine the face of the baby. Just a bit. Actually, you can see the paper still um, has the smearing effect. It's not like size to shrink, even it's mounted. I think they used uh, the silicone paper, uh, silicone glue instead of the traditional paste. So that makes the painting still very uh, absorbent, which is really good. I like. You can use smaller brush now to draw the uh, <coughs> textures, <coughs> just like uh, uh, you would do with a pencil, you know, etching. Notice the direction of the hair. It's 
a horizontal uh, in, on top of the vertical strokes. So it's not the same direction. It's a different direction as the base wash. What is the dark in the, in the, in the center? It's like a uh, very loose towards the, the make it very uh, loose, uh, loosening feather effect. I mean, uh, furry. So you go outside the wash area. And you can wash more. I'm using relatively dry or thirsty brush in addition to that. To the, to kind of create a contrast. change directions occasionally so they kind of uh, uh, crossing or overlapping with different groups just like you do sketch more light ink wash. Have some fun. The thirsty brush. You can alternate the two. And this can also go this way. And here we reach the desired um, ink. I think this. Uh, arm is too long on the ske original sketch, so I make it shorter. Very calligraphy, calligraphy look. Draw the finger. You can draw very detailed, like health, health in strokes, or very abstract, um, depending on your personal preference.
much and more void or loose. to interpret. So if you are not clear, the audience is not going to clear what's in the picture. So I think this is the knee. So the other foot. So it's front shoulder. Ears. You can now, uh, when the ink is dry, you can wash with the light, light ink. It will not cover the line. Shading it. So this monkey is going to be the darkest part in the picture. So I'm going to keep adding the texture until it reaches the darkness I want. 